Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again for our time together. Please don't forget main campus tomorrow night. Worship our wonderful God, 7 p.m. Thursday night. We'll look forward to seeing you there. But right now, I want to talk to you about the gifts of the Spirit for just a minute. In 1 Corinthians 12, verse 1, Paul said, Now about spiritual gifts, brothers, I don't want you to be ignorant. And then he gets down here to verse 31 in chapter 12 and says, But eagerly desire the greater gifts. There is so much ignorance today about the gifts of the Spirit. Even in Pentecostal churches, the the speaking in tongues is no longer accepted in the services. Singing in the Spirit is no longer accepted in the services, let alone prophecy in the gifts and praying for the sick. I am a full-blown Pentecostal. I'm sorry. That's just who I am. The Holy Spirit is real. I'm not spooky. I'm not weird. But I really believe in the baptism of the Holy Spirit and speaking in other tongues. I really believe in this experience that that God gives us as, as an empowering to be his witnesses that he talks about in Acts 2. And I really believe that the Holy Spirit uses us in supernatural gifts as he chooses to use us. We, we don't decide what gift we want. He chooses the gift. He chooses the place. He, choo- he does everything. We're just, we're just an empty vessel. But he says, you got to learn. He said, you can't be ignorant about these things. So number one, you need to read these passages of 1 Corinthians 12, 13, and 14. Get rid of your ignorance about the gifts of the Spirit. And then secondly, he says, you need to eagerly desire the greater gifts. You need to begin to desire these things. Oh, Pastor Summerall, all the gifts ceased. That's Baptist secessionist theology. And you can't lay it out for me in Scripture. It's just not there. They just arbitrarily, with their dispensational theology, decided that miracles ceased, the supernatural ceased. But when did God ever stop being supernatural? I mean, please be logical with me for a moment. And is there a time limit on this? Eagerly desire the greater gifts until... 90 AD. No, there's no time limit on this. Every believer needs to eagerly desire the greater gifts, eagerly desire for God to use them in the gifts of the Spirit. I want to challenge, especially you young people, have a whole new generation. Don't don't go toward, you know, entertainment Christianity where everybody just sits around and white boy sings with a guitar on the platform and, you know, you sing your laments and you have your nice colored light shows and your nice smells that come out of the air conditioning system and everybody feels very good and, and, and very, very entitled. No. You want the gifts of the Spirit operating in you. You want the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge. You, you want gifts of healings. You want working of miracles. You, you want the Holy Spirit to use you in these things. You are a supernatural Christian. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit lives in you. Let him use you. Don't be ignorant of the gifts of the Spirit. Eagerly desire the gifts of the Spirit.